Ryan Paling. Uh, it seems to be it's a name that always finds itself on the, the tongue of many a Habs fan. A lot of people are obviously intrigued at his development as a player. He will start the season on the taxi squad. We all know the American Hockey League hasn't started off yet. I imagine when the AHL starts, he will likely get sent down there. But who knows? Who knows what his future will be with this team? I'm very curious what you all think. Does Ryan Paling have a future with this Montreal Canadiens team? It sure, surely doesn't look like it to me as far as, you know, opportunity that's given to him. Um, you know, I, I don't think he's in the, the best books in the coaching uh, staff because uh, he's really not given much of a chance to uh, to play. And I think this is going to be a case of this uh, kid kind of uh, waiting in the uh, background until injury comes in. And even still, I'm not sure whether or not he can step up and, and uh you know, play uh, in, if you're going to compare him to a, a kid like Evans, uh, I don't think he can uh, get the job done, but um, it's, uh, it's too bad, but you know, he's, uh, he's got to figure it out uh, pretty soon that uh, I've got to make a difference when I get an opportunity to play. And that's what he hasn't done before. He was, he's been given opportunity, maybe not as much as what he hoped for, but he didn't take full advantage of uh, making an impact like he did from his first game you know, in the NHL. So he has to figure out uh, how to uh, his, get his A game uh, each and every shift. And until he uh, until he does that, I don't think he's going to get a, a crack at it. Yeah, that first NHL game when he scored the three goals, I mean, raised expectations from a lot of Habs fans. They forget that, you know, Paling was never a goal scorer in university. Go back and look at his stats. I mean, he wasn't an offensive guy. Uh, you know, you talk about Jake Evans. Jake Evans was a seventh round pick. Ryan Paling's a first round pick. So there's no doubt Ryan Paling has more natural ability and talent than Jake Evans. But playing the NHL, it comes down to work ethic, hockey smarts, a lot more than just talent. And, you know, Ryan Paling, he's young. So does he still have a future? Possibly. Uh, Mark Berger and I spoke the other day about they're still not certain if he's a center or a winger. They think maybe he's a center. Sort of reminding me of the Alex Galchenyuk situation. Alex Galchenyuk. Yeah, have you heard that before? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Out of the Senators, by the way. But, you know, Ryan Paling could go down on that long list. You know, Noah Juleson claimed on waivers by Florida uh, this week. You know, it was in more of an injury situation by him. But, you know, just the list. Here's the Habs draft picks, first-round picks starting in 2009. Louis LeBlanc, Jared Tenorti, Nathan Beaulieu, Alex Galchenyuk, Michael McCarron, Nikita Sherback, Noah Juleson. <laughs> you wonder why the Canadians struggled for so many years when you bomb out on your first round picks year after year after year, you know, that's, that's difficult. So, you know, uh, Ryan Paling at this point looks like he could be added to that list, but again, he's young. So, you know, it's up to him. It's as Mark Bergman says, the players decide and Ryan Paling is going to decide whether he has a future here or not. Exactly. And I think that sometimes players like Ryan Paling, where things came a little bit easier for them, they think it's just going to continue that way. And then you get to a point where you're playing in the National Hockey League and you're not the best player and you have to work that much harder. And I think that's a little bit what the difference are from a player who was a seventh round pick and a first round pick that you just kind of cruised in. It got difficult. And then you're like upset about the situation that you're in that you're not given the kind of opportunities you have before, but you're not putting in the kind of work and not getting the results. And I think that's going to be the big thing is that Ryan Paling is going to have to change that and show that he can be a capable player and the player that they need. But it depends if he wants to do that extra work and realize and be mature enough that that's what it's going to take. Well, yeah. I mean, last year was the first time he's probably ever been cut from a hockey team in his life. In fact, I'm certain of that. And he didn't handle it well. He moped and he, and he, was down and, and that didn't go over well, I'm sure, with Mark Bergevin and uh, the coaching staff. And he, he didn't figure out that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Laval and I am going to be motivated and I'm going to make the difference to prove them wrong. And, you know, that challenges the character of an individual when uh, something like that happens. And you have to uh, you, you have to take it as a motivation factor and, and you know, make the difference. Find a way to... Uh, to, to prove them wrong. And uh, I don't see that in his character at this point. And I hope that he, uh, he better figure it out soon. Well, he has to figure it out soon, or he may join that long list that Stu just read off of all those first round picks that didn't necessarily pan out 
for the Montreal Canadiens. What do you think Ryan Paling's future is with this club? Uh, be sure to write it down in the comment section below and visit Hockey Inside Out to check out our full episode.